Hey craft test dummies, this is Sarah at Summer CHA in Las Vegas and I am here again with the fabulous Diane Reevely where she is going to show us some more of her new ink spray pack. Hey Diane. Hi everybody. I just want to show you, this is one that from yesterday, I just wanted to show you one that was used and then we were going to re-ink. Okay, so I wanted to show you that and some more little hints and tips with it. And um, this, although this looks a dark colour, this is, this is a, these three colours. We have the lemon zest, we have the fresh lime and we have the calypso blue. But you can see it looks a bit purple, it's just the way they react on there. So I'm just going to re-ink it again, so the yellow, always go in the same place that you went before. So the yellow, let's have the lime, and then we're going to add some of the blue. And then, I like this very greeny, so I always take the lime back over straight over the top. I've been very clean today, we've got clean tables, so I'm just going to clean everything up. But one of the things that I wanted to show you, really, Yesterday you saw me doing um, lots of different uh, effects and things. I'm just going to quickly transfer some ink on there to be drying. But I don't know if I showed you using my... I use my carnies, my cup of tea, I use whatever it is. And on some of the things that are already done, I will quite often just put circles like that. But you see that I would do them over the over the tag itself, just now and again. And then I notice that every time you press... The, something down into the ink pad, the ink concentrates in that area. You would think it would go away, but it concentrates in there. So then I do this a lot and always stamp it off onto something else. But then if you take a tag and press it over, it will pick up the circles. So if you leave it a minute and then you rub it, still a little bit wet. I'm just going to add some more on here. Take some of the real wet off. There we go. Oh, there we go. There's another one. So, and then when you polish it, can you see the the um, pattern in the background? Yeah. Same with this one. And when we polish it, and you can see it's still got indents on here, so you can still pick up a lot of colour. A lot. Another nice thing I like to do is with a stencil. So if you take a stencil and place that on the top. Then take a tag and press the tag through. Just press it through the stencil. Okay, so you get the stencil on there. You can also, if you missed it, it will start to get that watercolour look. Then take the stencil itself, flip that over, get yourself another tag. Pick up what's in the stencil. And again, you can either leave it like that, but can you see the texture that is coming through from the pad underneath? So when you spray, you don't get that. It would be more solid. But then also, if you come back to the pad, we should be able to pick up some of the circles and some of the stencil as well. Because it'll have the stencil on there. So again, just wait for a minute, I'll give it actually, I'll, I'll just speed it up. It's actually cool in here today, it's normally red hot and dries so quick. Now I don't know if you can see, but here's the circles, but can you see where the formation of the flower is down here as well? You don't have to see the actual design, you just have to get some texture on there, that's all it is, just doing texture. And then you can always add circles and things back over the top, and you just continue. So. Therefore, if you can do circles and things like that, you can take stamps onto here. So you could, you know, stamp off onto another tag. Can you see that the, the pattern is condensing, yeah, where the stamps were? And again, you can either leave it like this, or if you want a more watercolour look, it will start to blend. And then another tag, you just go on forever. I this is this I use this with my spot, my new small journal. I tear the pages out of my journal and um, use them on here and then I stick them back in the journal. So but if you press again on here, can you see where it's picked the flowers up as well? So you could you could stamp anything in there, make indents in there. I'm just gonna. So I would normally throw this to one side, but just for speed, I'm just gonna dry it a little bit, so that when I polish it up, it doesn't run too much. 
and then you can see and it looks as though it's an embossed. So I just wanted to pop back and show you those. Thank you Have so fun. much, Diane. See you next time. Bye.